This is the Phonics FP35 hearing aid analyzer, also known as the test box. In the last 10 years, it's become the most popular device for the monitoring and setting up of hearing instruments and personal FM systems used in education around the UK. There have been many changes and revisions, primarily to the firmware installed, which can be identified by the version number displayed on the startup screen. Currently, it is version 6.10. If you have an older device, it's recommended to have an upgrade to get more functionality and compatibility with the newer digital hearing aids. The manufacturer, Fry, have improved the frequency analysis of the digital speech signal to take into account the special needs of hearing aids with feedback suppression algorithms that has sometimes interfered with the digital speech signal and the corresponding response curves displayed. Before using the test box, it will need to be connected to a main supply in the following order as demonstrated. Connect the power supply lead into the back of the test box. Next, connect the mains power lead to the power supply unit. Plug the mains power supply lead into the socket and switch on. The mains power LED above the operate button will light and the screen will display its initializing screen. After a few seconds the main startup screen should be displayed. If the screen is not displayed or unclear please try adjusting the contrast control knob located at the rear on the test box. You will see at the bottom of the screen above the F3 button the words coupler multi-curve. Press the F3 button. Next you will need to level the test chamber. Open the chamber lid and place the reference microphone into the centre circle of the speaker and then place the HA2 coupler beside the microphone as shown. Close the lid. Above F5 should read level. Press the F5 button. A warning will appear on the screen that pressing start will start leveling and erase current curves. Press the start button. A leveling tone will be generated inside the test chamber and a status bar will run across part of the screen for a few seconds. The device will display leveled in the top right corner of the screen. Open the lid and connect the reference microphone to the HA2 coupler, pushing in fully. You are now ready to proceed creating comparative gain curves. Connect the hearing aid to the HA2 coupler by using the small tubing at the end. Adjust as necessary so that the hearing aid microphone is placed in the centre circle of the loudspeaker as shown. Turn on the hearing aid and close the lid. On the screen in the top left it should read Gain. To change this press the menu button. A small menu on the screen will be displayed. On the menu display is SPL. Change the option on the row by pressing the left or right arrow key once. It now indicates on the small menu display gain. Press the menu button to enter the changes onto the screen. It now reads on the screen in the top left gain. The initial source should be 50 dB if not, press the up and down arrow keys to adjust the level as necessary. Above the F2 button on the screen should read Curve 1. If not, press F2 repeatedly until Curve 1 is shown. Above the F4 button on the screen should read 
digital speech, shown as D-I-G-S-P-C-H. If not, press F4 repeatedly until digital speech is shown. Press the start-stop button to start the first response curve. A response curve should be displayed in real time and you should allow a few seconds for the curve to become stable. Please note, the first response at 50 dB is particularly sensitive to external noise and as you become faster, you may notice some hearing aids can be programmed to have quite a long start-up delay of up to 20 seconds before displaying a response on the screen. Press the start-stop button to freeze the curve. To create the second curve, press the F2 button so that on the screen it reads Curve 2. Press the F4 button repeatedly until on the screen digital speech is shown. The source should read 65 dB. Press the up and down arrow keys to adjust the level as necessary. Press the start-stop button to start the second response curve. A response curve should be displayed in real time and you should allow a few seconds for the curve to become stable. Press the start-stop button to freeze the curve. To create the third and final curve, press the F2 button so on the screen it reads Curve 3. Press the F4 button repeatedly until on the screen digital speech is shown. The source should read 80 dB. If not, press the up and down arrow keys to adjust the level. Press the start stop button to start the third response curve. A response curve should be displayed in real time and you should allow a few seconds for the curve to become stable. Press the start stop button to freeze the curve. You can press the print button to print the comparative curves from the small internal printer. You now have your three frequency response curves, FRC, to save for regular comparison. If you would like to save to a computer, please check the extras section of the DVD for simple demonstration of this. To erase all curves on the screen, press and hold F1 until on the screen a small option appears. By pressing F1, the indicator will move from Curve to All. Press the Start Stop button once and on the screen a warning that pressing Start will erase all curves is shown. Press the Start Stop button again. The curves are erased.